Hey, Deb, how are you doing this morning? Hi, good morning. Good. Hello, COPD Deb. affects, hello, COPD affects about 24 million people in the U.S., yet about half afflicted wait months and sometimes years before receiving a proper diagnosis. COPD remains underdiagnosed, underassessed, and undertreated. It is a complex and progressive disease that can be discouraging for patients and physicians. Yet there are many things you can do to manage your condition and improve quality of life. Joining us now to raise awareness of COPD is medical expert Dr. Manuel and COPD patient Sean Cummings. Doctor, how important is it to know the severity of COPD for determining management strategies? Uh, thank you, Deb. It's important for patients and physicians to understand their, their level of severity because based on how severe your disease is, there are going to be different treatment strategies. And the main goals of treatment are both to decrease exacerbations, which are worsenings of disease, but also to increase uh, or to improve symptoms. A lot of the symptoms that COP patients come in, such as wheezing or coughing uh, or shortness of air, uh, can be dramatically improved uh, with, with both uh, uh, medical therapies that we have available, but also with non-medical therapies, such as exercise, pulmonary rehabilitation, and, and other interventions, such as vaccinations. Mm. Doctor, many patients and physicians can feel discouraged by the progressive nature of COPD. How can a proactive strategy and positive mindset help patients and physicians manage COPD? Well, well, the, the, the goal of, of uh, any sort of treatment of COPD is not only to add years to patients' lives, but also to add more life to their years so they are able to actually do more and, and feel better al along the way. I have many patients with COPD who continue to live full and active lives, and, and I have several of them continue to sort of travel around the world with oxygen uh, as, as they continue to uh, you know, live uh, very full lives, and that is really the goal that we have for all of our patients. Sean, you were diagnosed with COPD. Uh -huh. You're still very active. Right. I live a fulfilling life. Can you tell us what tips you'd like to share for people with COPD or caregivers to help them improve their quality of life? Sure. The biggest thing that I could possibly tell you is to exercise. And no matter what, you need to exercise. I mean, um, if you can get up in the morning and you don't feel well, go ahead and give it 15 minutes and set a timer on that 15 minutes. And when it's up, get out and do something. You'll always feel better when you're done. The problem is you, you kind of just sit there and that sorry sack. But if you make yourself get out and do something, it's the best thing you can possibly do. Doctor, where can the public go for, for further information or if they know someone with COPD? Uh, well, certainly, I, I think this is something people can talk to their physicians about. Uh, the website copdfoundation.org, which is run by the COPD Foundation, uh, provides a, a great source of information that, that patients can access to get more information and uh, that they can be better prepared when they go talk to their physician. I'd like to thank you both for taking the time to talk with us today. Have thank, a good day. Thank you, Neb. Thank well, you, Deb. Well.